Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to project number 30. And if this is your first time here, I do project videos every week using a 3D laser printer. And if you like that type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. In this project, we're gonna give the Glowforge a really good bath. I've been having my Glowforge since December of 2018, and I haven't cleaned it not one time. I know, hold up, hold up. Do not judge me. Don't even think about it. Do not even judge me. But in this video, we're going to clean the Glowforge. This is everything I'm gonna to use to clean the laser. We have some alcohol, we have the lens wipes, we have spray water, we got a clean cloth, we got some canned air, and this is the most important tool, is this right here. This is the mirror, this is the lens removal tool that Glowforge send you. So if you get this in your box, do not throw this away. There's the Glowforge. Yep, still sitting on the floor. First thing you wanna do is make sure that it's powered off. Oh, and another way to make sure that it's powered off is to unplug it. Unless it's ran off of batteries like a Tesla. Glowforge, that was my idea. Lasers that run off batteries like Teslas, you heard it here first. So you think I'm playing about how dirty it is? Look at this, watch this. Look, you can see my fingerprint right there. That is bad, watch this, look. That is disgusting. Wipe the metal floor. Next thing we're gonna do is remove this. This is the printer head. Just wanna lift up a little bit. And there you have it. So here's the bottom of the printer head right here. We're gonna use a wipe to wipe off of this small window and this small window. going to use this tool right here to remove the lens from right there in the center of the printer head. One side has a magnetic side and the other side doesn't. So we're going to use the magnetic side to remove the lens so we can wipe it off. See, there's the lens right there and you want to make sure that you do not touch the inside of it right there with no fingerprints and everything. When you grab it, you just want to make sure you grab the outer layer right here. Okay, to install it, you see how it looks like a bowl right here and the other side is more like, like at the edge of it. So you wanna flip it upside down so it looks like a bowl. You wanna use this side of the installer too. So you wanna sit it on top of it like that. Okay, so you wanna sit it down, something like that. And then you wanna take your printer head and you wanna put it right on top of it until you hear a click. And there you have it. You got your lens right back inside of it, and it's all nice and clean. I'm gonna take a wipe. Wipe this side mirror right there. All right, you have another lens that's right there that you wanna get. As you can see, it's right there. So you just reach up in there, and get that lens too. Can't forget your camera lens. You gotta wipe the camera lens off. We're going back to the printer head, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna remove this top part right here. Just like that. We're gonna clean the mirror that's inside of this right here. I was at an angle. We're gonna pull it out and just wipe this mirror off right here. So be really, really careful not to touch the mirror. Be really careful. Place it right back inside. And put your top back on. Now we're gonna use the canned air and we're gonna dust off this circuit board right here. Yep, clean. On the Glowforge website, it, it says there's another circuit board that you can use the canned air to clean it also. There it is right there, it's to the left side of the Glowforge. We're gonna dust that one off too. Now we're gonna clean this tube off right here. Spray some alcohol on the clean cloth. And remember, never spray inside of the Glowforge. Yeah. There you 
you have it. Project number 30 complete. I gave my glow for a thorough clean. It looks brand new. And if you like that video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next project. Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to project number 30.